today we are going to be talking about the changes in our homeschooling for the next two months while all four of my kids are participating in a Christmas drama. Hey everyone, so as you can see, I am in my office again today, and as I just mentioned, life is really busy right now. So there were some changes that you guys had asked about, um, about like keeping updates of how we're doing things now with um, like how things are different with having four kids in a Christmas drama with rehearsals two nights a week plus Saturdays, and when we get into November, possibly three nights a week for rehearsals plus one night at church normal, plus Saturday rehearsals every single Saturday. So it's kind of busy right now. And right now I need school to be easier, but still for the kids to still be learning. And I am implementing a lot more of our travel schooling ideas than I normally would have in like a normal, normal, we never have a normal week, but like a normal sit down school environment. And you may hear one of two things. You may either hear the heater behind me kick on because it's in the 40s today um and number two you're probably going to hear my uh gaming pc beside me gaming pcs just work better for editing youtube videos go figure so i'm going to go through like just classes and talk about each class individually and that was the reason why i wanted to go ahead and just film in the office today because it just made it easier to be like hey we're gonna do this so that's kind of the goal right now. I'm going to just go class by class though, because that's a lot easier than trying to go day by day. The day by day, basically, I'll just summarize really quick. Mondays is, at the moment, our only full day at home right now through October. In November, um, we will have church on Monday nights because we move our Wednesday night service to our Monday nights for the month of November. So that, um, especially leading up to the week of Thanksgiving, we have that time on the Wednesday before to just focus on either traveling, cooking, or like just focusing on Thanksgiving in general. Um, so like all of our Wednesday night services are moved to Monday. So starting in November, we'll be at church on Monday nights, but right now through the month of October, um, and the play is the first weekend of December, so like December schedule doesn't really matter. So um, like there's no rehearsals in December, I think. Yeah, there's no rehearsals in December. And I'll explain that in a minute. Um, so through the month of October, Monday is our at-home day. And honestly, that day for me is the biggest focus on laundry, making sure all the laundry is caught up. And like, I can do another video talking about like things we did around the house to stay caught up on things while we're like, while we're doing a Christmas drama. So that can be something else. But like Monday would be the heaviest focus on like what school needs to be done while we're at home in front of Chromebooks. Um, so that that's basically what Monday is going to be. Tuesdays and Thursdays are rehearsal days. Tuesdays are normally our lab and or field trip days. I'm probably not going to do field trips for a while just because we're already going to and fro with um, the dramas. And also like the thought of putting a field trip on a day when we're already going to drama practice already seems like it's going to be a lot on our plate for that day. So may cut down on field trips, which we haven't even got to do any field trips yet so far this year. We are not doing any labs right now unless we just absolutely have to. I'll explain that in a minute. So basically Tuesdays is going to be catch up work if need be, a uh, little bit more lighter of school work. Wednesdays, we're going to focus on rest. Everybody's going to be sleeping in on Wednesdays and then focus heavier on our history. And again, on classes that like have to be done at the Chromebook, which math is one one of the classes that usually has to be done from a Chromebook. I'll explain that again in a minute as well. Thursdays are, again, normally on a normal, normal week when we're not doing community service, going to visit family or other things. One second, it's really cold in here, but I know that fan is gonna be super obnoxious if I leave it on while we're filming. So I'm just gonna leave the sweater on and put some extra blankets on if I need to. Thursday would normally be like either a travel day to go see family, or it is our one, it used to be our one day of the week where we could just focus on school. Cause usually by then like dishes are caught up from the weekend. Hopefully it's Thursday, we can fix and start again. I also on Thursdays usually write our double, like the meal plan's already written out. In September, I wrote out the meal plan for October, November, December, and January attentively. 
so like I don't have to but like I do my shopping list on Thursdays so I like having Thursdays at home when I can um obviously now with rehearsals on Thursday and it's now the third night in a row in, during the week of no or October or, yeah October that's now the third night in a row that we're going to be out of the house so probably focus more on like easier schoolwork but again Chromebook based schoolwork Friday is still going to remain our shopping day and any just travel schooling that we could do so that's kind of like a summary really quick of how the week looks but let me break it down to individual classes so uh starting with my two 11th graders the first class and their classes are listed in a uh, home life computer system alphabetically um let's talk over let's start with math so math is the one class that i always do virtual because it auto grades it has videos to teach and i just prefer digital math i just i really do um they can write the problems out on paper if they need to they're supposed to do they always do it no math is one though that if we end up having a lot more like needing to be away from the chromebook during the week right now especially in november where we're going to be gone four nights in a row and then we're going to have like Friday off and then Saturday rehearsal and then church on Sunday. So like when November is super busy, I'm probably going to look at maybe doing like math printable worksheets because the girls are not in every single scene. So it just makes it easier for us to just be able to say, let's just take some stuff with us. And we have the 30 minute ride there and back. So that's just kind of where we are. Um, with math is that for now it's staying all on the computers if need be i will just tell them they don't have to do specific assignments in the computers and then we'll do worksheets based on what they're learning on those classes the next one on here would be um again i'm focusing on the 11th graders uh although that the math that's for all four of them it's we're going to try to do it virtual if we can if we need to we'll do worksheets as we go because, I mean, already if you're kind of stressed from drama, you know, rehearsals and memorizing lines and costuming and makeup and all that, trying to learn something new in math is going to be challenging. So I want to be a little more flexible with that. The next class alphabetically would, for at least the 11th graders, would be chemistry. So chemistry 101 was super easy. Easy, And I'm going to go ahead and do all the classes together. No. Let's stick to 11th graders. Chemistry 101 is easy. It's a DVD class. So you can do additional work with the Chemistry 101 that is a PDF. And if you haven't seen anything about that, the videos will be linked up here. Um, but Chemistry 101 is basically a DVD. So right now, I just have them watching the labs and watching the, the full videos um, for the class. And they just are going to watch it every single day. If we don't get it watched in a day, we can take it with us in the van and watch it as we travel. I'm not really focused on doing anything extra with chemistry right now other than just watching it. And there's so much information packed into those videos that I feel like they would still get enough information from it. And that was always a goal, was if we needed to travel, find a curriculum that works for travel schooling. And Chemistry 101 was one of those that was a huge emphasis on this works because both my AP student and my dyslexic uh, 11th grade student both excel with this Chemistry 101 program. So, like, if my AP student just feels like she needs to do more, I can assign her more to do. But right now, my biggest focus is on just watch the DVD, and then we're going to move on. And then maybe in December before we stop for our Christmas break, or maybe in January when it's going to be so cold and icy that we can't go anywhere, that's when we can work on more of the labs with the Chemistry 101 and focus more. And that's kind of what January always is is it's our time to focus more on like what needs done at home for school because we're not traveling as much in January usually. Um, so that's kind of where we are with that. Uh, English or the literature, they are currently, 11th graders are, yeah, American literature is movies. So honestly, right now we're just still watching through the movies and I am not making them do the eight, my two AP students that are in movies as literature. I'm not making them write as much of, or as long of a report as needed. Um, if we miss a week, we missed a week when the kids were waiting on glasses. Uh, I don't know if I either I'll just unassign that movie or if we'll just do like one movie a week for now. But that one also, like, if need be, we could take worksheets with us and they can write out their paper on those worksheets 
um, and it will give them like writing prompts to focus on one specific thing from the movie. If they're at home, they can type them in the Chromebook. And probably Mondays and Thursdays would be the huge, biggest inf uh, emphasis on literature. I mean, math is every day. Math is the only class in the state of Tennessee that's required to be done every single day. So once math is done, I may focus more on literature while we're at home and then worry about the science and history um, while we're traveling. The next class was health and <clears throat> and again, I'm going to be focusing on talking about health at the beginning of the year. It's a one semester class. It's one of the few homeschool high school classes that go one semester in homeschool. You do all of your classes for the entire year, not like one. You can, I think, if you like talk to your umbrella school in Tennessee, break it down to where like if you only want to do algebra two in the fall semester and chemistry in the spring semester, you can. They prefer you just do year round because in their opinion, it just students have excelled better just doing the class for a full year. So health is one of those classes though it's only required for one semester and honestly most of the health that like it's it's one of those things I told people like it was a God thing because like we prayed about how to plan out this curriculum and everything since like the week of tryouts for this drama to the week of the drama like health class plans out perfectly because like some of the things that we included in health class will tie into the drama itself and it's really cool um, but uh, like every week health has a video with it I, almost every week health has a video with it or a hands-on activity that actually helps with the drama and I'll explain that more later but health is just going to happen as we go and probably focus more on health like on uh, Tuesdays usually like if we do health videos I'm doing those more on like Tuesdays for the lab days um, that's worked out so far the elective that my 11th graders have this year is um, sewing so that is kind of getting kind of let go for right now but that's okay because again it's not like a really hardcore must-have class but if i felt like they really really needed to focus on that right now um one of the things that my my old oldest uh does is she actually packs her own sewing kit in the travel bag and you've seen that in one of the other videos of our fun travel bag we have two different travel bags we have one for like just non-school activities and then we have one that's more geared towards like school activities the non-school activity one she made her own sewing kit so she was able to like piece it together so if we need be like we could make like sewing kits for them those two to take and work on in between scenes and i mean again that's it's not a huge issue and then the last one for let me double check. Yeah, it says personal finance on here, but they're technically not doing finance and personal finance until the spring. And we'll talk about that next year, like 2024 next year. Um, U.S. History is the last one on here. So they are both in U.S. History this year and they're doing Hillsdale College. So it's watching videos online and then you have to take a quiz. Usually U.S. History is done on Wednesdays. Like I watch the videos with the kids because like especially with it being a college professor. Yes, it's a Christian college, but it's a college level class. So I prefer to watch the movies with them. So like for U.S. History, we're still watching those videos. And then if they want to go and rewatch the videos on their Chromebooks immediately, because each account you have to watch the video before you can take the quiz. But also like watching the video twice kind of like gets... They, they understand it better and they comprehend it better and then they can work on the quiz immediately and if that's what we need to do that's what we need to do and honestly that's all U.S. history has been and then also like I'm trying to tie in their American movies as literature with their U.S. history so I still feel like they're getting a lot together and especially my AP student has been comparing like things that actually happen in U.S. history with the topic that her movies as literature was based off of. So that is the first two, the 11th graders. Um, my ninth grader, again, like, like I said with math, when we're at home, we're gonna do the uh, virtual uh, Khan Academy uh, math and she's gonna just work through it. If I need to, I'll print worksheets and then whatever that was covered in Khan Academy, they don't have to do Khan Academy doesn't really care what order you do stuff in which is something I actually kind of like versus Monarch because Khan Academy it's like oh you don't want to do this unit okay well we're not going to unassign every unit until you do it so I like that aspect of it um this one ties back into my eighth grader as well they were doing animal science slash zoology it's worksheets like from the get-go it was planned as worksheets so those are going to be ones that we actually take with us and they're going to take in their backpacks and work on in between scenes 
and then whatever gets done gets done and then whatever needs to be caught up we can get caught up after the drama because their animal science zoology is only until December and then they will swap to ecology in the spring um, or environmental science yeah environment the high school level calls it environmental science the middle school levels calls it ecology so it's still happening and then that's one of the classes they're taking with them again with movies as literature we're watching the movies while we're at home or we're taking them in the van and then they write the reports when they can if they need to take uh print out worksheets to fill out that has the writing prompt at the top to fill in with it again that's year on homeschooling with misty leesk i'll drop that in there as well um, then we'll do the worksheets instead. If not, we'll do them at home. I prefer at home because then like Google Docs, I've found that like when I allow the kids to use Google Docs and it gives the writing prompts, they'll actually remember those edit writing prompts. And it's almost like it, Google Docs is teaching them, hey, you did this one thing. You probably shouldn't do it that way. Here's how the correct grammatical way to do it is. And that's been a huge help for them. So I really like the way that like, it's almost like it's teaching them. And I'm, I'm also teaching them. I have a highlighting system that I use when they make errors and spe use specific colors for specific things and then before they go back and edit them. But I think I've seen them improve greatly using Google Docs. So I prefer to use Google Docs, but when we're traveling, if they need worksheets, we'll do the worksheets instead. Um, for my ninth grader health, we've already covered that. My ninth grader also, for her elective, is doing home economics cooking. Um, so she's still getting to cook one night a week, but we're kind of focusing on the two emphasis that I have right now for food until the drama is done is number one, nutritional value. And then number two, how quickly can it be done and or can it, is it something that can slow cook? So it's kind of where we are. Like she had one meal where we did barbecue and then veg did vegetables with it. I thought about doing fries with it, but we just focused on vegetables for the nutritional value. Um, she actually has a meal tonight. She's doing orange chicken from Sam's Club and she's doing spaghetti squash to go with it. And then probably we'll do some broccoli with it as well. So that way, like, instead of it being like a starchy vegetable, she's going to get to do spaghetti squash for the nutritional value. And then uh, the orange chicken is not terribly bad for you. I don't know. I don't think it's that horrible. Um, and then we're going to have the broccoli for also nutritional value. So like that balance, we're trying to do that balance right now. Um, she also is supposed to be doing Duolingo Japanese again in January. I've, I feel like they're going to have more time to do like a lot of at home school and Duolingo is virtual. So that's when probably she'll focus on it more. And then physical education. I'm not even worried about tracking hours. I like, I have given up on tracking hours because like they're doing physical education at the drama. There is a dance scene at the drama. And so like, I'm seriously not worried about like if we're doing the, it, technically it's supposed to be like 30 minutes a day, but if we're doing shopping on Fridays and shopping for like two or three hours, that's walking. And then the drama has like movement and dancing for like one to two hours every Tuesday and Thursday night. Plus in November we'll have Saturdays. So, like, I'm not super worried about, like, keeping up with her PE charts right now. And then my easiest one, my 8th grader, because she only has four classes, again, with math. We'll either do it virtual or we'll do worksheets. Um, American history, she is doing. That one is so super easy because she can take American Girl books with her to read. And then she also has the American Girl sticker book to take with her. And if she wants to take the encyclopedia with her, she can. Um, and then like the zoology, again, worksheets and the movies is literature. A lot of her lit movies are the same movies as her older sisters who are doing U.S. history. So it all ties together. And that's basically how we're handling all of it is all of this was planned. Like from the get go of the beginning of the year, it's like everything has just kind of fallen into place exactly how we needed it to work. We didn't know this was going to happen. We didn't even know they were doing a Christmas drama until a couple weeks before we actually tried out. Um, and like we had the school year planned fairly early because we have to turn in attentive classes in January. So I love seeing how like the Lord is just like blessed like each step of the way being able to provide as we go. And it's also a lot less stress this year. And honestly, this has been my favorite year of homeschooling ever because it's been exact teaching exact way I want with the resources that I need to do it. And also be able to do it our way with um, like traveling when we want and staying at home when we want. And that is it for today's video. If you guys have any more questions about like how life is going crazy right now with handling um, the drama 
and things like that then please let me know in the comments below and if you have any other homeschooling questions either feel free to ask in the comments if it's something that's too personal you can message me on facebook or instagram this homeschooling adventure and i will try my best to answer them but that is it for this video thank you so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to our members for supporting this content and allowing us to continue making videos and thank you to every single one of you for liking watching positive comments and subscribing and we will see you next time.